I just want to sit down and paint my finger scales with you all. Um, I apologize for, you know, just my hair and my makeup today. It's been a crazy, crazy week. It's been super busy. Um, you may have noticed if uh, the light will stop being super bright. What the heck? Come on. Focus. There we go. Um, I've got my new um merch sample on today so it's still you know in uh in the making still sort of deciding what we're gonna do but that's really exciting i'm sad the light is just making it look super white and whatever hello everybody thank you for joining i'm gonna put the chat on my ipad as always and uh, so that i can see the chat a little bit better Gotta mute myself there. Okay, so I'm going to be painting my nails today. So if you need to paint your nails too, feel free to, you know, grab your polishes and sit down with me. I'm gonna tilt this so that we can see. You can see the, the nail painting. Here we go, perfect. So the reason I'm doing this is because, well, for one, I, I just need to do my nails, but also the company Madame Glam actually sent this stuff to me for free. So I got these nail polishes and this little mini gel polish light, which is super exciting. So if you guys like doing gel nails at home, you can use my code MermaidZelda30 for 30% off. And I do not make a commission from that or anything like that. Um, they're not paying me to make this video. They just send it to me for free and I want to try it out with you guys So I just wanted to let you all know about that But thank you for being here. How's everybody doing today? So Let's let's get started. I'm gonna I'm gonna file my nails a little bit first This is gonna be difficult to read the chat and you know Paint my nails at the same time. So it'll be a good test of my my multitasking abilities. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a crazy week. There was a movie being filmed at my house yesterday, so that was pretty crazy. I actually got to talk to the producer as well, which was very exciting. Um, and then I took my car in to get serviced today, and I need to go and, like, leave to pick it up in about an hour. So if I seem a little rushed, that's also why, because I do have to go out soon. So maybe I'll just do one hand, you know, so I'm not panicking as much, and then I'll do the other hand when I get home. But, yeah, anyways, just thought I'd let you guys know about the craziness. Let me see the chat here. You look so pretty. Oh, thank you. My hair is, it's very dirty. I, I wanted to wash it before I did this, but I didn't even have time for that. So I'm like, okay, if you put it up, it seems to like look not dirty. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, why was it filmed at your house? Um, they just came to our neighborhood, knocked on our door, said, hey, can we film here? Um, took a look around and we we're like, sure. So yeah, they just liked the house. They wanted a place with a hot tub because one of the scenes was filmed in the hot tub. So that's also why, since we've got a pool and a hot tub here, um, which was really cool. So I got to watch them film it and I was just so jealous. I'm like, I want to be, I want to be out there. I want to be in the hot tub hanging with the actors and, and, you know, doing the acting thing. But it was super, super cool still to just be able to, to watch it. And we didn't have to leave the house, which was nice. Sometimes if you have something filmed in your house, you have to leave, but yeah, it was a good time. Nails, nails, nails. Oh, you have to sleep because you're Italian? That's okay. Go get your beauty sleep. I totally understand. And this was a last minute sort of stream, so I understand. Thank you for being here. Good night. Have a good sleep. <laughs> Uh, can you say what movie it was? It's a TV movie. Um, it's a sequel to the movie Perfect High that came out in 2015, if you guys have heard of that. So it's called Imperfect High. Um, I don't think that's a secret. Hopefully I'm allowed to say that. Um, and it's coming out in like August or something. It's a lifetime TV movie. So yeah. What are you guys up to this this weekend this week how's life how are things okay we're gonna we're gonna be good with that for now um shallow oh thank you very much about the hair 
yeah, we all are, you know, we all gotta have messy hair sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna start with the base coat here. I wonder if I can put you guys, how does it look if I just have you here? That's, that's fine, right? Yeah, okay. Cause then I can see your chat a lot easier, which obviously I would like to be able to chat with you guys. That's the whole point of doing a live stream. So we're gonna start off with the base coat. And apparently this is all like vegan and like really good stuff. So I love painting my nails. I'm excited to see if this is good. When I was in high school, I used to do a different like nail polish look almost every day. I would go home and paint my nails and I would do polka dots and stripes and like flowers and all these different things. I was really into it. Um, but I haven't, I'm not as into it anymore just because it's so time consuming and it, it just really is. But okay, did the base coat. So now we're gonna use this little light. Can you see how small this thing is? And it like folds up to be portable as well. So that's super cool. So far, so good. <laughs> You're going swimming later today in your local pool as a merman. Oh, that's awesome. Have lots of fun. I'm super jealous. I miss the swimming. It snowed last night for Kira. Ooh, chilly. It's finally getting warm and sunny here. Well, not warm, but like warmer. So it's a good, it's a good time. You started doing in-person school for the first time in a long time. Ooh, how's that? Yeah. What grade are you in? In-person school must be very interesting right now, but I'm glad that you're able to go back because I'm sure, you know, online school would get very tiring after a while. Do my thumb here. Emma, I'm gonna chat with you. That's the whole point of a stream. Streamers, we don't do that here. Okay, well, to be fair to other, like, streamers, they have so much, like, so many people in the chat that it's, it's like, impossible to actually read it and kind of interact with people. But I am lucky because I can actually talk to you guys and answer your questions and all that stuff. So it's nice. I like having just a little, a little group here. It's a good time. Um... Hello, everybody. It's 50 degrees in Maine. Oh, that's, uh, that's not very warm, is it? No. I always have to translate the temperature from uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. The camera slash lighting also helps with your hair looking clean. Oh, good. Thank you. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just like, it's not, it's not that good either. Okay, we're gonna put one more time, I think, to make sure. Apparently, if you pressed it twice, it'll do 60 seconds or something like that. So, just figuring this out as we go here. Almost 70 degrees Fahrenheit two days ago. We got a couple of inches of snow yesterday. Oh, wow. Because 70 degrees, that's pretty warm, right? That's like room temperature, so that's a big, big drop. I feel like the weather has been very sort of all over the place lately. Like, that snow in Texas a while ago, and... Yeah, the, it's, it's been crazy. The world is, is whack right now. <laughs> I just want to be in like Hawaii, please. That'd be nice. You have to wear a mask the whole time in school, but to keep the community safe. Well, that's good. And yeah, it's obviously wearing a mask is not super fun, but it's, it's the right thing to do and it keeps everyone safe. So I'm glad that you're able to be in school again. That's good. That's good. Not too bad here in Arizona. I bet Arizona is probably nice and warm, right? That's it's a warm, a warm climate. Okay, nails, how are we doing? Oh, it's still, it's still a little bit tacky. But it is a base coat, and I think sometimes the base coat just does stay tacky, so let's try doing um, a layer of color. So I'm gonna do this purple color, if you can see it. I'll show you guys the nails after. And I am just going to do my one hand because it's already 3.30. Oh my goodness. The day. It's just been one of those super crazy, busy weeks. I did film a video this week about Raya and the Last Dragon. But I know a lot of you guys haven't actually seen the movie yet. So I feel like I should maybe wait before I upload that. So that you guys have a bit of a chance to watch it. And it's very good if you haven't seen it already I would highly recommend it it's very good love me some new Disney content 
the hair looks really cute and also love the merch oh thank you thank you i know it's like the sun is kind of making it hard to see but yeah let me know if you guys like this design and if you would wear it or if you would want it to be a bit smaller or you know if you prefer sweaters all that kind of things and stuff Oh, it's really exciting though. It's cool to see it come to life and I'm pretty happy with it But we're still trying to perfect a few things and decide what sort of supplier we're gonna you guys know when uh, the merch is available and I can't wait Hi see opal the marin. How's it going? I have not seen it yet. Yeah, lots of people haven't seen Raya yet. It's good. So yeah, Right? I think you guys should should have a chance to see it before I post the video about it. I send you a DM on Insta. I would totally mean the world to me if you answer or even read it. My Insta is Mermaid Caribbean. Okay, I will check my DMs for that. Okay, okay, cool. So this color, it cured better than the base coat. So I think that's just how it is. I'm going to paint my other fingernails now and this is so far so good i'm actually really impressed with the quality of this gel polish can be a little bit hit or miss i feel like especially you know at home gel nail polish but i i'm actually going to be able to swim very soon so i wanted to have my nails done for my tail you know for the photos so that is super duper exciting. My family has a little timeshare. Um, it's like a three hour, four hour drive away from here. So uh, my mom and I are gonna go for like three nights later in the week and they've got a pool. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna swim in my Sailor Moon tail and my Elsa tail and probably my gold tail. And I'm getting the fins attached on my gold tail tomorrow no the day after tomorrow so that is super exciting i cannot wait to go swimming and it'll be a good time hello everybody your first ever tail is coming in the mail soon i can't wait yay that's so exciting what kind of mermaid tail did you get where is it from i think that your shirt is amazing oh thank you so much i'm glad you guys like it can you see it pretty well it's hard to hard to tell but i'm glad you guys like it I'm very happy with the, the logo design. I think it came out very good. Oh, sorry, I didn't say grade uh, in fifth grade. I love watching your channel when I'm on the bus ride home. Oh, nice. That's a, it's a good grade. <laughs> grade five. Good times, good times. I'm glad you like my channel and my videos. It means the world to me. Thank you for being here, everybody. Um, I gotta go see a Mer sister. Okay, bye, King of Nerf. Thanks for being here. How many? We've got 20 people. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining this very chill live stream of me just painting my nails. It's not too terribly exciting. Question if it's okay. How do you transport your Fantasy Fin 3, like bag wise? I'm so ready to go back to the pool, but I have no idea how to carry it. Um, so, funny story, the first time I ever swam with the Fantasy Fin 3, I didn't have my tail bag for some reason. And thinking back, I don't even remember why I didn't have it. Um, yeah. That's weird. Like, I feel like I physically didn't have it at my house, so I couldn't bring it, but I don't know where it was. Um, but anyways, so I had to just carry the fin and the tail and it was not fun I don't recommend it because it is so heavy if you do have to carry it and you don't have a tail bag um, If you kind of like make it hug you like put the the fluke tips like there and hold it like this It's the easiest way to carry it But it's definitely not the best and I would recommend getting a tail bag they are very expensive usually, which is too bad, but at the same time, I bought my tail bag back in 2017 and it's still in perfect condition. I use it for all of my mermaid tails and I couldn't really imagine transporting my tails without it at this point. So I would recommend investing in a tail bag if you are going to be swimming, you know, a decent amount with a heavy mermaid tail, unless you have somebody maybe um, like a parent or someone who's very strong <laughs> who could carry it for you. A lot of the times my boyfriend ends up carrying my tails for me, even though I'm like, no, let me do it. I'm strong. But yeah, I really would recommend getting a tail bag, um, as much as it kind of is expensive, but it is worth it. I would say. 
Ooh, you got your mermaid tail from Etsy. It's coming from Australia. It's really pretty, and I'm going to post pictures and videos on Insta when I get it. Awesome! I want to see. What's the tail maker called? Is it just like a person who makes mermaid tails? That's super cool. You might do a live unboxing. That would be fun. Um, I'm trying to find some swimble mermaid jewelry. If you know where I can find some, would you mind saying it? Yes. So one of my good friends, Mermaid Ripple, actually has a mermaid jewelry, um, little company and it's called Ripple's Relics. She made my sand dollar necklace, if you are familiar with it at all. And she's also just came out with these really, really cute friendship koi necklaces. They're not available yet. They will be available in, a, in like a week from now or something like that. And they are so cute and I really, really want to buy um, a set. But I don't know who I would give the other one to because I have more than one like mermaid best friend um but anyway so yeah ripples relics she makes really pretty necklaces um the sand dollar ones are gorgeous but she has other designs as well and then my newest mermaid necklace is from another one of my mermaid friends actually her company is called morgana's magic um and i love it it's super nice i got it for secret santa i haven't actually swum in it yet but i will be swimming in it this weekend so that's exciting. I can't wait to test it out, but I know it is swimmable. She told me so. And then there's also Star Stuff Boutique, which is closing down now, but she is doing sort of like a farewell sale. So you could check out her Instagram and her Etsy. She might have some mermaid jewelry listed and even for a discount because it is a farewell sale. So you could check out Star Stuff Boutique. And those are the only ones off the top of my head, but there is quite a lot more. If you check in um, different mermaid like buy sell groups on Facebook, there will be mermaid jewelry and people posting about it. So yeah, you can check out those mermaid Facebook groups as well. Um, no, I'm not sure a tail bag would be worth it. Yeah, a tail bag is worth it. Like it hurts that initial purchase. It's like, oh, this seems ridiculously expensive, but um, they are they make your life 10 times easier, especially if you ever are swimming, you know, going to the pool by yourself or anything like that. It will really save your, your t it's just so awkward. It's not even like the, the, the weight of a tail, it's just they're so awkward and wet and like they're not fun to transport without a bag. So I really would recommend uh, making that investment. How's the song you wrote that you were talking about? Um, it's good. We are thinking of recording it probably like next month and we're talking about, we know where we want to film the music video and we've been talking about like casting a little bit, like who's gonna be in it with me. Um, so yeah, it's good to go. Like the song's written and it's really good. I like it a lot. It's sort of like 60s vibes more like kind of rock and roll poppy it's not like the sort of newer type of music that's all um kind of computery <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to say right now with like the dance music electronic dance ed edm electronic dance music it's not like that kind of thing it's not like ariana grande or anything like that so i think it'll be something that really anybody might like to listen to no matter how old you are like if you're older or if you are younger and it's just like a fun bubbly kind of like relatable song so yeah it's going well thank you good memory very excited to release that for you guys and to to have a song and be a singer like oh so exciting okay i'm just trying to get this top coat oh wait is it some of it um, accidentally spilled in the shipping. And now I'm wondering if I'm actually like getting anything on my nail here. Uh oh, I gotta dig for it. I'm like, wait, this is a very thin top coat, but then I realized it wasn't actually really going on there. So yeah, but it's okay, crisis averted, we got it. Um, what do we got? Watching the live stream and playing video games at the same time. Nice, that's a good idea. Just like we, we're hanging out together, right? Sometimes my best friend and I, we will sit at our computers and work, but we will be on FaceTime and we'll just be muted because it's just nice to hang out with somebody sometimes, even if you're not like talking, if you know what I mean. Just like having somebody with you is a good time. Um, yeah, we got some mermaid necklaces recommended in the chat. Totally, all good. 
I'm trying to save for a mermaid tail, but I won't say for who for a while because it's not official right now. If I buy it since I'm still saving, but hopefully it will be for next year. Nice, sea opal, well good luck with that. I can't wait to see what tail you are talking about. I hope you're able to get it. Um, that's super exciting. I still think you have a wonderful name. Oh, thank you. Which name is that, Emma or Zelda? One of my friends called me Z the other day and I was like, oh, I love that. I love M or Z or MZ or, you know, anything. That's why it's like, whatever you want to call me, I really don't mind. Um, thank you so much. I'll be sure to check out those places. Yay, that's awesome. Funny question, do you eat seafood or is that taboo, lol? I don't actually like a lot of seafood to like, Personally, I like a bit of fish. I like fish and chips because I am British, in case you didn't know. My parents were both born in England, so tea time and fish and chips is a staple for me. Um, and I like I like fish when my mom cooks it most of the time, like sable fish, I think. And salmon's like, okay. And then I love crab. Crab is like one of my favorite foods, honestly. I'm sorry, fishies. Fish is our friends but they are also tasty. Um, and prawns are okay as well, but that's pretty much it. I'm not super adventurous. I don't really care for lobster. I don't really like mussels um, or like clams and you know, a lot of the different fish. I just like a little bit, I, but what I like, I really like. So yeah, I know it's so funny. I mean, if we're being real, mermaids would eat fish though, right? Like. I don't think there would be a lot of sea vegans. I don't know that for sure. Um, if I ever meet a real life mermaid, I'll have to ask her. But yes, do you guys eat seafood as well? Let me know. Bit of a acquired taste. We used to actually catch crabs off of um, our dock when I, when I lived on the water many years ago. And that was really fun, throwing down the crab trap and then, and then eating what you catch. It was a good time. And I am getting so many chats behind. I'm sorry guys, I'm so bad at reading and talking. Hi Prisoner Sneaky, shalo, shalo everybody. Please say hi Haley, hi Haley. <laughs> Can we see some of your mermaid crowns? Um, well, not today because they are all downstairs, but a video that I'm going to be filming really soon, and in hindsight, maybe I should have filmed that this week instead of the Raya video. It's going to be a mermaid jewelry slash crown collection, mermaid accessory collection, because somebody asked for that a while ago. So I will show you guys all of my earrings and necklaces and crowns and all that stuff. So that will be coming pretty soon for you, but I don't have any um, with me right now. I'm kind of stuck here painting my nails. But I will show you guys that very soon. I'm thinking of starting a channel, but I don't know what to do for it. What topics would you guys recommend? Um, well, I would recommend anything that you're interested in, anything that you already like to do, and also the type of content that you like to watch. Um, those are all kind of good places to start. Whatever it is, make sure that it's something feasible that you're not going to get bored of, that it's like you're able to make that kind of content and just have fun. Just make whatever you wanna make and don't be afraid to just start and post and don't be afraid if it's not, um, you know, if the quality isn't there because, you know, I've been uploading videos since like 2011 or something, like literally 10 years and man, cringy, it's so bad. If I go back and watch my old videos, I can't because they're so bad to me now, but at the time I was really proud of them and I was just happy to post, you know, anything out into the world. Um, and I always try to improve. I try to improve with like every single video that I upload. That's kind of the goal, whether it's like editing or lighting or camera equipment. So you will get better as you go. Don't be discouraged if, you know, the quality isn't where you would like it to be right away because it will get there eventually as long as you stick with it and keep going. What's a cheaper mermaid tail? Because I really want one, but I also want to know if the heavy ones are safe. Um, a good, you know, fin fun. They are pretty inexpensive and very safe, very reputable, good quality, and they're not heavy. So I always recommend fin fun or magic tail or, you know, mer tailor guppy tails as well. 
what depending on where you live in the world too because if you are in the u.s then something like finfolk would or sorry not finfolk finfun would make sense because they also ship from the states but if you're in europe then magic tail would probably be cheaper because they ship from germany and it's not as far of a way to go so kind of look at like different tail makers that are more in your country or your continent at least because that will be a little bit cheaper for you probably um but yeah Oh my goodness, so many. I don't know where to read. Thank you guys so much for being here and chatting with me. I think my nails are done. They're a little bit tacky still. I think I need to like wipe them off with like, uh, what's it called? I don't know, like a little solution. But I left that downstairs. So, uh-oh. Just cure them one more time under the light here. Maybe I will have time to do the other nails because that didn't take too long. I'm speedier than I thought I would be. Um, I'm currently just $140 short for my order from I, I had, oh, sorry, I can't even read that. LaDonna, LaDonna Mermaid, Thailand. Is that, is that how you say that? Or is that an I? Ayadonna? Well, that's very exciting. Keep going. You'll get your tail soon. I've never heard of that tail maker before. Um. I can't hear you because my phone volume will not go up, so... Oh, I'm sorry, can everybody hear me? Am I being loud enough? I know the phone is a little bit far away from me. E Some of the best starting mermaid tails can be bought from FinFun. They are a mermaid company and their tails are very beginner friendly. Yes, I love you guys in the chat who also help me answer the questions. You guys, I appreciate you. You are rock stars. That's very, very helpful. Okay, let's do the other hand here. We've got time. My sister Gabby is here and she really loves your channel a lot. You were her inspiration and she seriously just got really excited when she saw you were like, can you say hi? Aw, hi Gabby, that's so sweet. I love you guys so much. Everyone who says that I'm their inspiration, you guys make me cry. You guys are my inspiration. So yeah, it's just really, really crazy to have any type of impact on on people. Like it's, it's insane. I'm so grateful for you all and I'm so happy that I, I give you some content to watch on the bus going, ho you know, home from school or whatever it is. I love you guys. You're my favorites. You're my best friends. Oh, I didn't know you were British. Yeah, okay. I mean, to be fair, I was born in Canada. So, like, I could get a British citizenship if I wanted to, though, because, yeah, my parents were both born in England. I can do a pretty decent British accent as well. Um, it's not always the best, but it's not bad, especially if I watch British TV like Harry Potter or Downton Abbey. I, you know, I get stuck in this voice. It's very fun. It's just, I feel like my voice was meant to be British. Like, I just prefer the way that my voice sounds. You know what I mean? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. That's probably just a me thing. But yes, I am. I have British blood. You know, I do. I had bad teeth growing up. So there you have it. <laughs> Um, I was thinking crafts and or vlogs, but I'm all introverted, so doing videos makes me nervous. Um, well, that's also something that comes with time, being comfortable on the camera. I thought I was comfortable on camera when I started, and even like one and two years ago, I can see such a big difference in my camera presence, because you kind of have to be like extra extra you kind of just have to be extra to be a youtuber because otherwise you might come off as a little bit flat on camera or at least in my experience so that also comes with time being comfortable on camera but just do like whatever whatever you want like whatever makes you happy whatever you're comfortable with and just have fun if it's not fun for you and you don't enjoy doing it then i would say don't do it you know just yeah you don't have to be a youtuber me and my friends did that all the time. We just sit and work without talking. Yeah, it's so much fun. Also same, I don't like a lot of fish, but some fish I like, like salmon and tuna. Yeah, agreed. You're going to be making a cover of a song. Oh, that's cool. What song are you going to be doing a cover of? You love lobster? Lobster's okay. I just, like, to me, crab is like 10 times better than lobster, which I know is like backwards because I feel like lobster is supposed to be the, the really expensive, fancy food, but I like crab. I like crab the best. I really want a mermaid tail, but I'm looking for cheap ones. I already read that, didn't I? 
and or that's somebody else asking the same question um so yeah fin fun fin fun is a really good place to start um and they have a really good price point they will get to you fast they've got good quality i really need to like collaborate with fin fun one of these days you're a vegetarian that's cool my sister's a vegetarian seaweed is rather tasty seaweed is really good real talk like the dried seaweed Mwah. i would like snack on that all day for prices as well, a fabric tail can be acquired for 50 bucks, whereas silicone tails are custom works of art and usually cost around four to $5,000. Yes, it's happening. You are correct. They are much more expensive, silicone tails. And honestly, if you're like younger than 18, I wouldn't even bother buying a silicone tail. I feel like I've said this before and a lot of mermaids will say it, but you know, you're just going to grow out of it. And for something like that, you want it to last you like as long as possible. One of my mermaid friends, her silicone Mirbella's tail, it's almost like 10 years old now and she still uses it and it's still in great condition. And that's ideally what you want because then the price is more worth it because it's gonna last you, you know, like five or 10 years instead of one year if you buy a silicone tail when you are too young because you do grow like crazy. You just keep growing. <laughs> I keep forgetting to comment this. What do you use to edit? Okay, so I use Premiere Pro and man oh man was that a learning curve to learn. Um, I started with some free software or like iMovie on my iPad because I didn't actually have a computer for a couple years there. That was before I started posting consistently on YouTube. Um, and what was it? It was like Adobe. It wasn't, it was Adobe something. It was like, which is the same, it's like Adobe Premiere Pro is what I use now, and I used to use some other Adobe software, which was really good, and I was like, oh, I can use Premiere Pro, no problem, I've been using this other software for, you know, a couple of years now, but holy moly, that was a learning curve. It is like a professional editing software, and it is not intuitive at all, so, Basically, anytime I wanted to do anything with editing, like how do I zoom in or how do I do black and white or, you know, speed up a footage, I will just look up YouTube tutorials and keep doing that until I finally learn um, how to do it and I get that muscle memory. And I'm finally getting to a place where it doesn't take me like 12 hours or more to edit one video. So that's really good. I'm finally getting like a lot faster at editing, which cuts down on my production time a lot. Um, so yeah, I use Premiere Pro. It's definitely hard to get the hang of, but it's also, it's also really good. Like I would recommend it if you want to have something more professional, but yeah, it's uh, you definitely don't need it. A lot of people use Final Cut Pro as well, which is sort of like the Mac version of Premiere Pro in a way, um, or so I've been told. Sorry, being a little sloppy with my my right hand here while I'm talking. I gotta focus. <laughs> I'm glad to catch your stream. It's late, but I'm usually awake still around this time. Haha. <laughs> Yay, thanks for being here, Snakey. I know, I always end up missing your stream too, because the timing is just weird. I think you stream kind of in the morning for me and I am not a morning person so I usually end up missing it but thank you for being here I'm glad you could catch it as well when you say Z I think of one of Sabrina the teenage which is um aunt which is aunt Z yeah totally her name is Zelda aunt Z um and that, that's a really good show in my opinion the new like Sabrina the teenage witch or chilling adventures of Sabrina it is good show I like it and you know Z Zelda I like it a lot. It's cool. I get so happy when someone actually calls me Zelda or Z. Of course, you're a really fun person or more persona. I can hear. Okay, good, good. I wished for a mermaid tail for Easter. Well, I hope that the Easter bunny brings you a mermaid tail. That would be pretty good. I can do a killer Australian accent. I've been told, lol, I'm from the States. Nice. I can do a bit of, um, Australian accent. It's a, it's very similar to a British accent in a way. Uh, it's so hard on the spot. Everyone's always like, oh, can you do an accent right now? And I'm like, eh, not really. But yeah, from like down under my, my Aussie accent, it's not very good. Sometimes people say it's more Australian or like New Zealand. 
and they're different. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just embarrassing myself at this point. But accents are fun. You have to practice the heck out of accents to be, you know, any good at them at all. Um, but they're very fun to do. I love mermaids. My house is filled with them. Oh, cool. OMG, I love doing voices like British and country ones. Yeah. Hey, y'all, I can do a country accent. I can't believe this will be on the internet forever, and I'm really just embarrassing myself at this point, but it's a good chance for me to practice for my voice acting. Yeehaw. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Uh, history is one of my favorite subjects, and today, March 11th and 12th, is 83 years since Nazi Germany annexed Austria. Wow! That is some history. I, I really love history, too. I took history in high school, like, obviously, but I took History 12, which you didn't have to take. It's, like, optional. Um, it's super, super interesting. I prefer history and, like, English over science and math for me personally. Have you heard of a movie called Song of the Sea? It's a story about a Selkie and her brother. No, I haven't. Is it any good? How do you watch it? Is it on the Netflix? The Netflix, as my Nana calls it. Do, 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 do. I am not doing a good posture today. Doing my nails here. Setting a bad example. This nail polish, it like smells good, which is weird to say, but it does. <laughs> loving attitude what fin fallen tail are you getting i'm a curious merman i don't actually have like i'm not like i haven't ordered a fin fun tail um as of this point i do want to get one in the future um i think it would be really good for us to collaborate if fin fun was ever interested but yeah i don't actually know um i feel like a weird person recommending them all the time when i don't actually have one but i have used my friends fin fun tails before so i can attest that they are good quality and that they're good to swim in and all that but yeah i don't actually i don't have one and i haven't ordered one yet i love fish but only if it's not sushi <gasps> you don't like sushi but only if it's not sushi Haha, <laughs> back in the days I got awful food poisoning from sushi and now my body doesn't want it anymore. Like my taste buds go like, ew, haha. <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. I love sushi. I had sushi for dinner last night. But to be fair, I don't actually like the raw fish sushi. Like I like the veggie rolls better, like the avocado and the tempura and the miso soup and, and that kind of thing. So I feel you about the fish, but that's so sad. I love sushi. I'm sorry that happened to you. That is some bad luck. Um, I'm getting a new fin fun tail soon and I'm really, really excited. Yay, that's awesome. Just for the future, I've had a fin fun for a few years, planning to have it for the next few years. What would be the next company? So like a step up from fin fun? Um, probably Mer Taylor, like a fantasy fin one, two or three whimsy tail or a fin folk fabric tail would be the next step of kind of fabric mermaid tails, or of course, Shop Vancouver Mermaid, if you want to get a custom tail, because um, that's like her specialty, and she will make the tail of your dreams, and you know, she's my friend, she's such a good person, she's an amazing artist, so if you want to get a Shop Vancouver Mermaid tail, highly recommend. She can also make it for any fin, really, that you like, too, so that's a bonus as well. And also, Magic Tail has some sort of pro tails I've seen. I have not tried those tails out myself, but I've seen them on other people, and they look really, really good. So those four kind of companies and those tails I would recommend as the next level of mermaiding, if you will. Are there something called a sea cat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's a catfish, so yes, really. I mean, yeah, I would say so. TBH, the new fin folks are tempting me so bad. Karyo really changed the game, in my opinion. I agree. Oh my gosh. If you guys, um, I don't know if they've released it publicly yet, but fin folk released, um, there's like a new design coming for their spring line. And it's like, it was made for me and I'm very tempted to get it, but I, it's very similar to my, um, silicone tail design from Fairy Tales Bangkok, which I'm now trying to get my money back because they are just completely ghosting me at this point. So if you know what that design looks like, it's very similar to the Finfolk fabric tail. 
So I'm torn between getting it or just putting money towards an actual silicone mermaid tail for the future because I do want a full silicone tail at some point. Um, and it sucks that it won't be from fairy tales, it doesn't look like, because that's going absolutely nowhere and I ordered my tail over a year ago now, so that's too bad, but yeah. What hair products do you use? Your hair is always so silky looking and shiny. Thank you. Um, I use a brand called Milkshake in my hair for, you know, shampoo and conditioner. And I use a bit of coconut oil for the ends of the of my hair as well. And that's about it. Um, I try to not use too much heat on my hair. Well, <laughs> try to. I also like can't. I, I am so bad at like using a hair curler. And I don't really need to use a flat iron because my hair is very straight on its own. So yeah, that's, uh, those are my secrets. I also air dry it a lot. I don't use a hair dryer most of the time. Um, if I'm going to film a video though, I do often end up using a hair dryer just because I want it to dry it faster and it does give it a bit more volume when you use a hair dryer versus air drying it. But yeah, thank you, thank you. I feel like my hair just has a sort of natural shine to it, which I'm very lucky. And I'm happy to finally be back at my natural hair color after many years of just bleaching the absolute heck out of it and destroying it. Yeah, I loved it. it bleached blonde hair, it's a really good look, but it's so expensive, both monetary and it's expensive, the toll it takes on your hair, so. There you have it. <laughs> was anyone else going to Mer Magic Con before it was cancelled? Did it get cancelled for this year? I thought it was still happening. I saw Mer's posting about that like literally yesterday being like, oh, are you going? Are you not going? Or what? So yeah, Maggie, did it get cancelled? I have not heard that. Um, I really hope I can go one day though. I was never going to be able to go this year because, um, Canada we're really lacking with our vaccines like hardly anybody has it yet pretty much only healthcare workers um have the vaccine so far so yeah it just wasn't gonna work like travel it's not even allowed really so yeah I will not be going to any mermaid conventions this year but hopefully 2022 I will be able to go because I've wanted to go you know for a decade now so and hopefully we can meet each other too that would be really really fun Kristen Hoff, wow, that's a lot. I have about 15 Fin Fun Tails and four Mer Taylor ones. Wait, how many does Kristen have? I missed it. Da, 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 da. You have a sweet English accent? Thank you. <laughs> okay, well I can't I can't find it, but damn, you have a lot of Fin Fun Tails. That's awesome. I need to get I need to get me one. I don't know why I haven't yet. I love all seafood except for clam fish, like mussels, etc. I agree. Not a fan. Not a fan of those. I've tried it. It's not for me. My parents really like oysters, and I'm just like, no thank you. Just tastes like salt water. It's just like squishy salt water. So, yeah, it's weird. I've always wanted to go to a mermaid convention. Yeah, me too. I was gonna go. I was so bummed it was cancelled. This is news to me. It was cancelled? I think it was on the Netflix a while ago. Don't you consider finding it? Oh, the that movie about the silky. I will have to look it up. And for Finfolk, is it the rainbow? Yes, the rainbow tail. Um, is, did they make that public? I don't know if they did or not, but yes. I sincerely hope you got your money back from them. There have been more reports of Fairy Tale Thailand as a scammer, and I'm so disappointed in them. Yeah, it's super weird because like somebody got their tail from him in December, and they received it fine. And like my friend Sia Shells got a tail from him in the summertime. So I'm really confused. Like it's because it's not an outright scam. It's not just, you know, this dude taking people's money and then and running away and never making any tails. Um, it's like he's just lazy and he just kind of makes the tails that he feels like making and the rest of us um, we're just out of luck. So it's super annoying. Um, I think I will be able to get my money back and put it towards something else. So it is disappointing though, but it's fine. You know, at least I have 
many other mermaid tails too kind of t tied me over until I get a full silicone tail. Okay, how's the nails here? I think they're like pretty good. They're a little tacky still. They need to be wiped off a bit. I'll just put them under the light one more time. I wonder if Finn Folk, oops, I didn't mean to press enter yet, haha. <laughs> I think it's moved to next year again. I checked on the website and thought it was canceled. Okay, huh, I don't know. Maybe you're right, I have not checked the website, but yeah, I'm just, I thought I saw people talking about it like yesterday, but who knows, who knows? My sister used to play around with their hair color wise. Yeah, my sister actually has green hair. She has had many colors of hair. I've had purple hair, um, that's, that's about it. I've had bleach blonde, and purple and I am like sometimes I want to dye it like pink or blue or purple again but then I'm like oh but it's it's nice and blonde and natural now so I don't know what do you guys think do you think I should dye my hair like pink or something it would be temporary like I wouldn't bleach it so whatever color it was it would have to just go on top of my hair and it would be like a darker pink or blue or purple but uh, let me know because I mean it is you know, still quarantine days, so it's not like I have really anywhere to go. Yeah, I've also been thinking about getting some more ear piercings too, like while I'm not swimming, because it's a good time to, to do that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm definitely going next year, yeah, I, I wanna go next year too. I'm sure like, I feel like the world will be at a place where we'll all be able to go to mermaid conventions for 2022. Let's put it into the world and into the universe that we will be able to go and swim and hug and it'll be great. Very excited. I wonder if Finfolk would put the tails from last time back in stock again or if it will always be limited stock tails because I'm never on time with tails. Yeah, that's a really good point. Like the fabric tails sell out super, super quick. You know, I another reason about, you know, not getting the rainbow tail is I'm like, it'll probably sell out in about four seconds flat so I don't even know if I'm gonna bother trying and yeah I mean I don't know I I think they should make them available like Mer Taylor does in my opinion because then everybody gets a chance to get the tail that they want to get you know you don't have to be like oh sad this you know my dream tail it's sold out and it's gone forever and they are doing the like tail of the month now which is nice and they're bringing some tails back that way but it's just one tail at a time so if it was up to me, I would say they should have, you know, all the tails available all the time, but I don't know if they're going to do that. They've never really hinted about doing that, so we'll see. We shall see. I have eight Fin Fun tails, six Magic tails, plus one from the two tails. Nice. That is a very solid collection. Well done. Fifteen. Nice. I don't even know what my number is right now. I think it's about thirteen, maybe? Twelve or thirteen? Um... Cariel did right. She posted her unboxing. You're right. Cool. Yes. Yes. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should buy that tail or try to buy that tail? Or do you think I should save up for silicone? Let me know. I'm so bad at decisions. Hello, uh, Dave on a rave. Hello. What's a good monofin I want to upgrade from the Luna monofin? Um, well, I mean, the Luna is a good monofin, so what do you mean? Like, what are you looking for? Are you wanting the mermaid shape, or are you wanting a monofin that's, like, good for swimming and diving and, like, propulsion and all that? So, yeah, like, the fantasy fins are really good. They would be an upgrade, or something like a competitor monofin, or, like, the Finnis Shooter, I think. Yeah, the Finnis Shooter is a good monofin as well. Um... Red hair is traditional. That's true. I've thought about doing kind of a natural red hair color because I've also found that acting wise, there is like a disproportionate amount of redheads in media. Like there's almost always a redhead when like you hardly see redheaded like people in real life. So I feel like maybe I'd have a better chance of getting an acting role if I dyed my hair red. I just haven't done it yet, so I don't know, because I like being blonde, and I don't know. I also kind of want to get bangs, too. Ugh, you ever just get bored with your hair, and you're like, oh, I just need a change? You could do, like, the side bangs. I am tempted to do bang bangs, though, because they kind of come back in the last, like, little while, you know? I guess, I guess I should show you guys my nails as well, since that was the point of this live stream here. The sun is shining in such a weird way, but here we go. Here's my nails. 
nice purpley color. Should go pretty well with my mermaid tails that I'll be swimming with. I like purple. Purple's a good color. So yeah, um, so far so good. I liked this Madame Glam nail polish set. And this is super cute. The light, it folds up like this. You gotta like stick it in your pocket. You got a pocket freaking, you know, nail polish light. So that's pretty cool. So thank you, Madame Glam, for sending me these nail goodies. I really enjoyed using them. And I'm very happy with the results. I just need to wipe off the little excess of them now. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching me paint my nails. <laughs> Let me know if you like um, this. <laughs> if you like me doing something. I know usually I kind of just sit and talk and read the chat. But yeah, and you know, if you have any suggestions of what you want to see me do on a live stream, let me know. Um, I could do like my makeup while doing a live stream, like a get ready with me live or I don't know, just anything. I could go for a walk. I don't know. Let me know. Ooh, I'm going to have to run here. Um, I will get off in eight minutes here because it's almost 420 and I have to go pick up my car from the service place because it got an oil change today. Fun adult things. So yeah, let me just read what we've got in the chat for a little bit. I regret my hair change. I had hair down to my butt. Then I cut it down to my shoulders. I regret it and I'm trying to regrow it. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh oh, I'm frozen. Hello, I'm sorry. The My phone had a low power warning and it made me freeze. I don't know if you could hear me just now, but I'm sorry that you, you cut your hair, Maggie, and you don't like it. That is also like a thing I've thought about doing the short hair because it is in right now and I really love the way it looks on other people, but I feel like I would regret it. It's taken me so long to grow it this long, so yeah. That's the thing about hair. Like I know it grows back and I know you can change it back, but it's not that easy, you know? It's not eyeshadow. It does take a long time to get it back to the way you like it, so. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I've seen people talking about AliExpress. Yeah, that's not a really great idea for Mermaid Tail. I would not personally trust that because you just never know who's making the tail. It's not really genuine people. It's people who just want to take your money and send you a piece of garbage. So I would not recommend buying Mermaid Tails on AliExpress or Wish. Something I really want to do is buy those cheap Mermaid Tails from Wish and AliExpress and then like review them. Um, the problem with that is a lot of them are stolen art from, you know, Finfolk and other mermaid tail companies. So I haven't done it yet because if I do, I want to make sure that at least the designs are not stolen, but also I don't want to support companies financially, but I think it would be really good to show people like, Hey, this is what you're going to get. And it's crappy. So don't buy it. So I don't know though. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to support those companies. But I also want to show people who want to buy those tails to not buy those tails. So if I could get them secondhand, that would be the best. But then also, I don't know, that just sounds like a lot of work. So I don't know, maybe that'll happen. Maybe it will not. We shall see. Is it nice to see a live stream with you in a mermaid tail? Yeah, I could definitely do that as well. That would be fun. Just chilling in a mermaid tail in my Mersona. It'd be fun to talk to you guys like as Zelda as well, because she is, you know, a different entity, if you will, in a way, like obviously not, but kind of, <laughs> it can be, she is a character. So that would be fun to just like, talk to you as if I was Zelda, you know, like, from the ocean and answer your questions from that point of view, that would be fun to do. It's 1.13 in Norway now, at night or in the day. That's so late, if, uh, if it is. Um, what about some gaming? Yeah, we could do some gaming, maybe. I don't know how to, like, set that up at this point in time, but I could certainly figure it out. We could play some League of Legends or... What else do I play? <laughs> I don't game that much. Make Animal Crossing is fun. I used to play that Phasmophobia game a lot, that ghost game, but I haven't really played it since October, but that could be fun for sure. 
I want to chop off my hair until I have my own color back because I haven't seen my own hair color in forever. That's the thing, that's a weird thing about dyeing your hair too, is you literally forget what it looks like natural. It's, it's kind of a weird feeling. But Snakey, your hair is amazing. The half, like, black and red, oh, I love your hair. It's goals. I love it so much. Check out Marine Network. It's the biggest online Marine community. Yes, it is. For everyone who thinks of an AliExpress tail, don't do it. I have one and it's crap and you can't swim in it either. Believe me, I tried. Oh, thank you, Snakey, for sharing your experience. See, there's some proof right there. Like, I almost, like, I don't need to make that video because I feel like people know, like, for the most part, people do know because either they've heard from other MERS to not do it or they have, like you, Snakey, bought the tail and had to, unfortunately, find out for themselves that it's no good. So, yeah. We'll see. Um, yeah, they're just not good. I want to dye my hair tips, but I don't know what color. I'm thinking maybe purple. I just used those out in one wash spray at first. Nice, yeah, that's always good to, to try it out with some temporary, like, hair chalk or, or a spray. Um, yeah, I did, I did purple one time, like, just underneath and, like, at the back. So regularly, my hair would look, just blonde but then if I put it up in a ponytail or a bun it was like purple dark purple at the back and that was really cool I did like that a lot I would love to meet Zelda okay cool cool that would be fun nails look so professional great job oh thank you very much I really enjoy painting my nails it's fun and I like painting other people's nails too it's very uh steady fun work I enjoy it also for software to edit videos in my opinion it's Filmora. I used her videos and covers and fun story when my mom used it for video. She looked like a little girl playing with a new toy. Aww. Yeah, it's funny when parents are like, I have no idea how to use your technology. It's a good time. But I have heard, I think I've heard of Filmora before, so that's another software. Did you take a while to develop a persona or did you start out knowing you wanted to do a character? It definitely took a while um, because I feel like the idea of a persona wasn't even a thing really when I, you know, got my first mermaid tail. It was purely just a, I want to put this on and, and go in the pool and swim and that's it. So yeah, I mean, and Zelda didn't come to be for five or six years after I actually got a tail. And like, you don't need a character unless you are doing sort of events or parties or, you know, videos, um, you know, short films, whatever it may be. So it's definitely not uh, something that you need in any way, but it's just, yeah, it's cool. Um, she kind of just comes out on her own whenever I'm in that environment, like at the pool, meeting new people, um yeah it's fun i i can like kind of turn it on same with other characters as well when i was hanging out with natalia taylor and we were talking about how i do elsa and like other princesses she's like her and her manager and her boyfriend they're like show us elsa and i'm like oh my god okay I, like went and turned the corner into the kitchen went and like took a second and then came back out as elsa which was scary because obviously i didn't have physical Elsa it was just me but they were like oh my god that's so good that's so crazy blah 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 so it's fun it's cool acting as characters it's it's really fun I I love acting acting is my favorite thing to do in the world so it just is a natural thing that happened for me with mermaiding but it's not something that needs to happen for everybody by any means Whenever I cut my long hair, I regret it. I started shaving the sides of my head so I could keep the length, but it's not so heavy. Mmm, that's a good idea. I love short haircuts, like on girls. Like, I really do. <laughs> I really, really do. I feel like I, I will do it one day, but I don't know. I think that the long hair also makes me look younger, though. So for acting, that's good so that I can play high school and things like that. But maybe when I'm older, maybe when I'm like 30, I'll do a like a buzzed asymmetrical haircut. That would be pretty cool. I would like, and it would be so much easier to manage too. Like, ugh, this is so much hair. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Who needs this much hair? Nobody, but I do like it. It's fun for being a mermaid for sure. 
The only MERS I know in person are my sister and two of our friends who are looking at buying their first tails. Oh, well, that's exciting. I wish my sister would do mermaiding. She won't. I've asked her. I'm like, can I turn you into a mermaid, like, for a YouTube video? And she said, no, she's not into it. She's very, like, private and she doesn't want to put herself out there. But it makes me sad. Like, she doesn't even want to do it with me just for fun, so... It's too bad, but it's my thing. It's not her thing. So you're lucky is what I'm saying to have a sister who also likes mermaiding because I wish I wish that mine would. I'm more of a makeup person than a nail person. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely makeup person and then nail person, but I'm not a hair person. I, I can't do fancy things with my hair. As you guys can see, I can kind of fake it and get away with it by doing space buns and pigtails, but it's really not that good. I'm not very talented at hair at all. It's just not my cup of tea. I wish it was, but yeah. Uh, when I decided I wanted to be a mermaid, I immediately thought up a mersona. Oh, that's cool. So some people, maybe you will think of it right away. I like to film a mermaid show with my friends. It's just for fun, but we base it off Mako Mermaids and H2O. That's so much fun. I'm so jealous. I always wanted to do that with my friends, but I was the only one who had a mermaid tail. So it never really worked out. Oh my gosh. I did make one episode of a mermaid show with my best friend when we were like 12. And it's private on the Blue Scales channel. But if you guys really wanted to see it, maybe I will post it here if I can, if I can even find it. Because I don't even know if I have the password to that account anymore. Whew, the cringe. That would be pretty funny. If I hit a milestone, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, 25,000? If you guys get me to 25,000 <laughs> subscribers, then I will post that. So, there you have it. But, man, uh, have fun, though. And I highly encourage you guys, you know, make whatever content, even just for fun. Like, if you want to make something for fun and you don't post it on the internet, like, that's that's even better because then it's just for you. It's not to be judged by the world. So yeah, I, <laughs> yes, do it. <laughs> I want to see the video. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you do. It's so cringy, but we really tried. We really gave it our all. What was it called? Cause we like named the show. I think that my mermaid character's name was Marina. And I think it might've been called Marina maybe. It's in the show, like, we put a little, like, title. I'm so, I, that was like a, you unlocked a memory there for me. I totally forgot about that. Wow, okay, I'm gonna look for that. When I get home from getting my car, which I am gonna have to go, like, in a minute here. Ah, I should do this more often. I love talking to you guys, it's so much fun. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> yes, I'm in my 30s and it's nice to have less to do with your hair. Yeah, totally. I think I'll probably do that. Okay, I think I think this is a good time to to leave, it seems like. Um yeah. Cuz some people have to head out too and I've got to go. Got to hop in the in my mom's car to go and pick up my car. Unfortunately, but yeah. Have you ever tried professional acting? Yes, I am actually a professional actor, um, but I just haven't landed many roles. But I, I went to Vancouver Film School for the Acting for Film and Television program, which is a year long. I was doing, you know, an advanced teen acting program for four years. And I do auditions like all the time. So just wait, I'll be on your TV one of these days. It'll happen eventually. But yes, I am an actor and it's my absolute favorite thing in the world. So. Yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I had so much fun talking to you. Um, I know this was just a little chill video. There won't be a new video tomorrow. This live stream's kind of in lieu of a video for tomorrow. So I am sorry about that. But the really good thing is new swimming videos are coming. Um, I will probably vlog getting my fins attached to my gold mythic tail. I'll probably do a little travel vlog of going to our timeshare to, you know, mermaid swim and all of that. 
Um, I will be doing that mermaid jewelry slash accessory collection video soon. So I have a lot of good content that's going to be coming up. Life has been a little bit crazy lately and I've been a little stressed out. I won't lie. <laughs> things have been like, eh, eh, but things are looking up. Um, I'm honestly just so excited to get in the water because as soon as I hit the water, I feel better. Like, does anyone else feel that way too? So yeah, that's what's going on. Lots of good stuff will be coming and I, I hope you guys did enjoy this live stream and um, definitely follow me on Instagram too, at Mermaid Zelda if you haven't already because I'll be posting stories and updates and, and all that kind of thing until, you know, next Friday, until you get another official video. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it from me. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for being here and chatting with me. I always lose my voice by the end of a live stream. So funny. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like this live stream if you, if you want to. <laughs> comment down below. I don't know. What do you want to comment? Comment. Uh, what color you think I should dye my hair? <laughs> and I hope I will see you here next Friday-ish for a brand new video. And until next time, bye! <laughs> see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me. Lavender. Ooh, lavender would be good hair color. How do I end this? Okay, I got it. Okay, bye everyone. Love you so much. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you very, very soon. And cut.